Hi, this is Swikat Mohinder. Our topic today is diffraction. Last topic we have discussed about interference. This is under the Basic Science and Humanities course. Under the paper code is PH101. And course code is course name is Physics 1. This is under module 2 of optics. Learning objective is to realize the importance of light phenomena in narrow slits and resolution of optical instruments. So these are the pictures. When sunlight is passing through the clouds, you can see the golden yellow color that is in figure 1 is showing. This is due to the diffraction of light. Again, if a reservoir blade is placed and light is just made to fall, just opposite to the direction, then along the laser blade, you will get this type of optical activity that is shown in figure 2. Again, if a grating is placed, on some spectrometer, if light to is light is made to fall on the grating plate, then we will get this type of spectra. This one is the color band of first order, this one is second order, and so on. And the intensity is diminishing. This is maximum intensity, then it is decreasing and decreasing and so on. In the right hand side and also the left hand side. And this is the original object visible in straight to the grating. This is the original object. So these are the these are different optical phenomena that we can observe due to the diffraction of light. Now come to the point definition of diffraction. The bending of light around the sharp corners. Of an obstacle or slit. Slit width must be comparable to the wavelength of light used and spreading into the regions of the geometrical shadow is known as diffraction of light. That means first point is light must be must have to be fall on some sharp corner, sharp obstacle, then the light will bend. Considering the slit width must be comparable to the wavelength of light used and it will bend where into its geometrical shadow region. Suppose this is the source, light is coming from this way to this way, this is the obstacle, AB is the obstacle, then its geometrical shadow is this, it has been just the geometrical shadow. The light source will illuminate this part after the above portion of the A dust and the below portion of the B dust. Again, this part can be explained using this razor blade. If light is fall onto this one, this is the illumination. So the razor blade where the metal part is there, it will look black. This is the geometrical shadow. Now you can ask, whether the light is coming from your doors, windows, it will diffract? No. Then we have to stick to the condition. The width of the aperture must be comparable to the wavelength of light used.